thrown to the floor. In February 22, Egyptian Coptic Christians were beheaded by ISIS. We've shown you this video many times. The intentional move to strip away any mention of Islamic when talking about the extremists, the psychos, the terrorists, makes identifying and defeating the enemy even more difficult. President Obama didn't even identify the victims' Christianity when they were beheaded by ISIS on the beach merely for being Christians. And by doing so, it keeps the motive for the violence hidden. According to Open Doors, 4,344 Christians have been killed for faith-related reasons between December 1st and November 30th of last year. That's double from the previous year. That number is much likely much higher because the group only counts victims who they can identify by name and an exact cause of death can be determined. Christians has also routinely been targeted in Iraq and Syria. ISIS has become genocidal. They have a march in Iraq's Nivea plain last August. Then they moved to Kabar. They executed and exiled religious minorities like the Yazidis while we did nothing. They destroyed Assyrian artifacts in Iraq while we did nothing. They blew up an 80-year-old Assyrian church on Easter while we did nothing. Christians are being driven from the Middle East in what some are called the New Exodus. Part of the problem leading to the increased persecution is the fact that Christianity has spread. Kenya is now 82% Christian. Kenya has been repeatedly attacked by Al-Shabaab terrorists. We just talked about the university attack. Before that, it was a 2013 mall attack where they lined the Christians up, demanded they quote verses from the Koran. Anyone who could was let go. Anyone who couldn't, murdered. Before that, it was the 2012 attack on churches during Sunday services, families with their children. Our world leaders, sorry, calling them that is laughable. Our world leaders are anything but leaders. And they can sanitize the language all they want, but it is psychotic Islam that is causing this. The radicals are not mincing words. This is a religious war for them. This is the beginning of a Christian genocide for them. And it is getting worse. And after they're done with the Christians, they will go to the Jews and the Muslims. In Egypt, Coptic Christians building a church in honor of those beheaded by ISIS were attacked late at night with Molotov cocktails. They set cars on fire. Stones and bricks were thrown. After meeting with an organi uh, organizing um, a group, something organized by the local governor, it was decided that the location of the church would be moved. Last month, ISIS went door to door in Libya, searching for Coptic Christians. Christians among a compound housing day laborers. Put yourself in this man's position. He's a day laborer. There's a knock on his door. He opens it at night. He has the horrifying realization of who is standing on the other side of his threshold and they asked if he and his roommate were Christians he only had a split second to think he lied he said no no I'm Muslim they asked if any uh, any of the rooms had any Christians in it he lied again he and his three friends survived but 13 others were taken away later they were beheaded on a beach as part of the propaganda video Coptic Christians. They are the largest Christian denomination in Egypt and part of the largest Christian community in the Middle East. But they are a minority of the entire population, accounting for only about 10%. So you know, a lot of people will say, what is a Coptic Christian? I don't know what it means. Cop comes from the Greek word meaning Egyptian. So all Egyptians at one point were cops. But over time, several and several um, Muslim con conquests they began using Coptic, or Copt, as a derogatory term to refer to anyone who didn't convert to Islam. Remember, Egypt at one time was a Christian nation. Not anymore. And there are not going to be any Christians left in the entire Middle East unless somebody does something. This scene has played out over and over again. It's played out before. In the upcoming episode of The Root, we are going to chronicle the history of Christian persecution that took place over the last 100 years in the Middle East. Few recognize it in full context.
But when you see it, you will understand what is motivating these extremists. And it's not American foreign policy. It's not even our culture. It's a religious war. And amazingly, world leaders are turning a blind eye. The Pope admonished, but because he wasn't talking about redistribution of wealth, no one seemed to listen. I've been talking about this for so long that I can't imagine why you even watch or listen anymore. It sounds crazy to say it. To Jewish people, it's offensive to say this is a Christian holocaust. That is, word is reserved for a special place, and I understand that. But we better start we better start telling each other the truth. What is coming is a Christian holocaust. It appears we have forgotten the promise never again.